What's up, gang? It's your girl, Savia. Period. And I'm back at y'all with another video. As y'all can tell by that title, this ain't no prank. Sound like a Q&A addressing rumors or assumptions or anything people heard about me. So I asked my Facebook followers and I asked my um, IG followers, like, you know, tell me some y'all, tell me a rumor y'all heard about me or some y'all want me to address or anything y'all want me to answer. And I got a few. A lot of y'all, I wasn't even surprised. A lot of y'all sent the same, 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 same question. And it, it didn't even surprise me because I was like, I, I see it a lot in my comments and I hear it and I hear it a lot. So, yeah, today I'm going to be addressing stuff that, you know, people want to know about me. Period. So let's get to it. Okay, first, we got somebody said, you're mean and they heard I was mean and unapproachable. Y'all, I, <laughs> I get this a lot from people who never met me. You know, so I'm like, where did y'all hear this from? Like, who told y'all this? Because every, every supporter, every person that I ran into, I was nice. And I'm nice. You know, it ain't even like I was nice. I'm nice. Like... I don't get, I see this a lot too. I don't get where y'all hearing this from. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm mean. Like, if you, I'm an Aries. And even that, I'm just a, a regular human being. If you, if you mean to me or I feel bad energy from you or you did something, yeah, I'm going to be mean as hell towards you. But, like, supporters came up to me, people come up to me took pictures we talked we chilled like i never gave anybody a mean vibe like so i don't know what people is getting this from i'm mean unapproachable like what <laughs> i don't who is y'all getting this from like i don't who y'all getting this from because i think i'm a i think i'm a cool person until you try me i really think i'm a cool person until i'm tried i'm not even gonna lie but next one is I hate my husband. Y'all, let me address this, okay? Because a lot of y'all think this too. I got a slick ass mouth. So it's not that I hate my husband. It just when 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 I go there, because I do anything for that man. And and like I love my husband. I will do anything for him, whatever. But when I go there, y'all, I go all the way there. It's not that I hate him. It's just me. When once I go there. I'm going all the way there. Like, my mouth is slick. That's what I want y'all to understand about me. It's not that I hate him, whatever. It's just whatever. When I'm mad or whatever he did to me, that I feel like you you you, you played in my face. That's the that's the what I'm looking for. When he play in my face, y'all just see me go from zero to jail. Because I'm going all the way. Y'all, my mouth is crazy. Like, it ain't, it ain't that I hate him or I, I, don't, I don't respect him or none of that. It just, um... Once he do something to piss me off or he, he played in my face, I'm going zero to a hundred. Quick. Quick. So it, it ain't even that I hate him. It's just my mouth is slick. Like, my mouth is slick, y'all. And then I like it. Like, my mouth. That's all I can say. It's like, my mouth is slick. So once Darnell do something to me, I just go from zero to a hundred, y'all. I be mad. I be over mad like i don't get no fuck you shouldn't play in my face like don't play in my face and i don't like i don't even go i don't even um, go that crazy over the petty stuff the times y'all see me go crazy it had to be something that really 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 hurting me like and then that's what i be getting people be on here act like they just angels in situations like they saints in situations like like when they go through situations they be cool calm and collective now y'all be going on too my mouth may, may be a little bit more slicker but y'all be going out too. So stop. People need to stop acting like they don't. Period. And like I said, I never go off that hard if it's some little. So if I ever went off, he had to really do something to me that made me go there. Period. But I love my husband. It's just my mouth slick. So you would think, damn, she don't like him or damn, she hate him or damn. Yeah, because that's how slick my mouth going to get. You going to feel it. Every single letter of the words I said. Bruh. <laughs> let's move on <laughs> a couple people said this why did you get both of your why did you get both of your son ears pierced y'all this this aggravate me so bad y'all then y'all wonder why most kids end up how they be ending up because the adults sexualize y'all sexualize not child but 
most weird adults y'all sexualize key y'all sexualize kids so much and then y'all wonder why these kids most of these kids out here how they is this is not 1969 baby okay this is not 1970s 80s 90s we in 2023 so if i want to get both of my son ears pierced i can that don't mean he's gay that's not only for girls none of that it's a bunch of celebrity men who got both of their ears pierced. His daddy's his daddy got both of his ear pierced. I got brothers who got both of their ears pierced and they're fine. Oh, that just for girls. Uh, you 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 trying to make him a girl? How am I trying to make him a girl? Cause I got both of his ears pierced. That's what's wrong with most of y'all. Y'all sexualize kids and wonder why most kids turn out how they turn out. Just because he have both of his ears pierced do not mean nothing. He just got two ears pierced. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how many times I saw this when I posted the video of people saying, uh, when I posted a video of him get his ear pierced, why you get both of them pierced? That's for girls. That's for, that's y'all problem. It's a lot of things out here that's for men that women is doing. It's a lot of things out here that's for women that men are doing. He just got both of his ears pierced. Simple. I got both of my ears pierced. Where 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 is that in the Bible or or what a rule book at that said only girls can have both of their ears pierced? Where where is that? Show me. Somebody pull it up. Somebody comment below a, a scripture, the rule book of the earth that shows only females, only females can get both of their ears pierced. I know men with nose piercings. I know men with this pierce. I know men with lip piercings. And they are straight. As as far as I know. I know men who paint their nails. And they are straight. As far as I know. Like y'all know not to play with my kids. Do not play with my kids. Like y'all are weird. And, and like I said. Most kids is how they is. Because y'all goofy ass adults. Y'all goofy ass adults sexualizing kids. How you know how a kid gonna be by having his ears pierced at 11 months? Both his ears. How you know how he gonna grow up to be? You're weird. Let's move on. Somebody said I got a BBL. Y'all, it's like five people who posted this. They said they heard I got a BBL. Y'all. I never had no B got a BBL a day in my life. The most that I surgery that I got was got my boobs done. And I made a video on that. Other than that, I don't know where that rumor came from, but I never got a BBL. Like I'll be out here looking a fool because I have really, really, really small legs. What I'm gonna do with all them hips and ass? I just got enough. I know it's big or whatever. <laughs> I know it's big, but yeah, I just got enough for my little body, my little physique, or whatever. I just got enough for me. I'm not trying to be wild and all outside, okay? I'm good. I never had a BBL. Only got the these precious things done right here. None. Period. <laughs> okay, somebody said they heard I'm pregnant again. No, I'm not. And I won't be anytime. I won't be at all. Like I'm I'm two and through, y'all. I'm I think I'm two and through. Like I'm done with kids. Like I don't want no more kids. I got my girl. I got my boy. So I'm good. I don't want no more kids. I'm 28 years old. And I think I'm two and through. I don't want no more kids. Sorry. Somebody said um, I'm in an abusive relationship. Who's the abuser? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's the abuser? Who's the abuser? I hope y'all don't think... I hope y'all don't be letting Big Homie... <laughs> y'all, true story. I'm gonna give y'all a true story. When me and Darnell was young, we probably was like 18, 19 years old. I don't remember how old we was, but we was young. And... We was drinking and Darnell got really drunk and he fought me. But that that's <laughs> that's the past. But he did fight me and I did send him to jail and I don't even and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, that was the last time that man put his hands on me. But when he had to sit in jail for a domestic violence and this ain't like I'm telling his tea because 
you could search that up. You could Google that. But yeah, when he put his hands on me and I sent him to jail and he had to sit in that jail, y'all like he never put his hands on me again. Like we play fight and all that, but like as far as black eyes and no, cause who? Cause I ain't no little girl no more. Like I will really get up with him, but nah, <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, I'm not in an abusive relationship. Like he don't put his hands on me. He don't threaten me. He don't scare me. If y'all saying that based off the pranks, please, Dar Darnell is, I, I keep, I'm tired of telling y'all this, this man is cap. Like, he be saying what he gonna do and stuff, Darnell is cap. He's cap. Even off camera, he do the same thing. When he be mad, he be, oh, shut the fuck up for I slap it. Y'all, he's, he's, he's not gonna do it. Even off camera, like, if I piss him off and stuff, y'all, he's not gonna, he's not just gonna walk up to me and back. This ain't no Tyler Perry movie. Y'all, I'm I'm cool. And y'all, I have a really big mouth. So if he was ever to do it again, y'all would know. I'm gonna tell the world. Like this man just beat the fuck out of me. But we cool. We cool over here. Darnell know not the I got that that foil. Okay. Oh, I'm so sick of hearing this, y'all. My daughter hair is never done. Like, I'm so tired of y'all talking about my kids. I so I will go to war with whoever whoever about my kids. I'm so tired of y'all talking about my kids. My daughter hair is never done. Clock it. 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 This 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 a child. Let me clock that tea with y'all. This what y'all don't get. I barely show my kids on here. So when I do, Zeke probably have a ponytail or she might have braids. She gonna either have them too, ponytails or braids. I don't show my kids on here every day, every moment, or every prank. So by the time I do show my kids, her braids might be old. Her ponytails might be old. When she get out of school, I can send Zeke to school with two fresh. Nice ponytails. By the time Z get off that bus and it's Georgia heat and they, she been at school, baby, she done got glue in her hair, pa paper, marker wrote on. It's, it's all hell. That's why I said stop worrying about other people's kids. Stop talking about kids. By the time y'all see Z, her, her braids might have got old. Her ponytails might have got old. When I do Z hair, y'all don't see it at the beginning. She's not in our video. She's not in our videos every time we post. She's not in our videos every day. She's not in every single prank we post. So if I do Z hair, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta break it down to, you know, them people who, them people who sexualize kids, them people who worry about other people's kids, them people who clocking that piss on other people's kids. I'm breaking it down for y'all. If I do Z hair Monday, and and I don't show her in the next prank or the next vlog until the next Monday, that was a week ago. Either her ponytails or her braids are old. Like, stop talking about my kids. This 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 one of the ones that I keep hearing. Like, people keep commenting when they see Z, and then clock it. Look how much fucking hair she got. When when her when her braider is not available or when I don't want her to have braids in her hair, she she wears a ponytail. She scratches her hair. She goes to school where she, where where her hair sweats out. Z don't have no straight hair. She have nappy hair, black real black girl hair. So by the time she finished her day, that ponytail is old. Like, stop, like, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna learn about, about talking about people's kids. Okay. Y'all gonna learn. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. This is the rumor that I really, I don't know if I really, really ever addressed it, but this is the rumor I really, really need to address because y'all are sick. And this the one is, have I ever elfed skin bone or cheated with skin bone? 
y'all me and that man never ever had any relations any relations besides friends ever and to clock y'all t he used to mess with somebody real real close to me and this person is still close to me he used to mess with her and i will never go behind and mess with no man my friend mess with my my man friend none of that like i met him through darnell so why would i why would i elf my man friend or why would i elf i can't even say the t because <laughs> the person who used to mess with him i can't say the t but it ain't like that people people around me and people close to me used to mess with him so to go behind they back or to go behind my men back and 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 it, it ain't giving that it's, it's it never gave that it, it ain't giving that so to clear this rumor i never ever ever hear relations besides friendship with skin bones so y'all please stop saying that thank you let's move on okay my husband cheated on me facts now that's the tv gonna clock <laughs> y'all so i never um i never caught darnell like having sex with nobody or got proof that he did or ever caught him that way the only thing i caught was like which is still cheating so don't clock my teeth which is still cheating is like flirting with girls on instagram that's the most i caught him doing uh and like that's it i'm trying to think yeah the most i caught him doing was like flirting on 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 social media talking to girls in adms and doing stuff like that in which i i haven't caught him in a minute he 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 haven't done that in a minute but like in the past it was like really really heavy like which I feel like that still is cheating because anything you do behind your partner back to me is cheating. So I feel like I feel like that's still cheating. But like having sex with um somebody and stuff, never had proof of that, never seen it, never heard about it. So nobody never came to me as a woman. So I don't know. <laughs> That'd be the cheating I be talking about. Last one is. How many did I have? I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had ten because y'all was answering the same question as far as my son ears, the skin bone situation, the pregnancy. Y'all, a lot of people asked that. I don't know why. A lot of people asked, was I pregnant again? Do I look fat? Um, but the last one is, I'm with my husband for clout and money. What a clout. What the money, <laughs> baby? Y'all, y'all, y'all saying anything? I'm gonna end this video because at this point, y'all ain't hear no real tea on me. That's because I'm real chill and I don't have no real tea. Y'all ain't hear no real tea on me because I'm with my husband for clout and money. I think I put this on my list because like three people said this, and y'all know all three of them was men. Let me wake that tea up, cause. A lot of a lot of men be saying a lot of weird stuff. And I don't know why. But it was three men who, who said this. I'm with my husband for clout and money. What sense does that make? You know how many Y'all gonna give me a <laughs> Y'all gonna give me a trouble. Um, yeah, y'all, that, that that was a video that I just wanted to do and clear up, um, clear up some stuff off my name. That was the end of this video. Um, like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below any, anything y'all heard about me or any assumptions or anything y'all want to know that I haven't, um, that I haven't cleared up. And I might do a part two. I love y'all. Stay blessed. I'm blessed. Stop talking about my kids. Or you get clocked in your face i'm just start blocking y'all like if i see it in my comments or if i see it on my page i'm just start blocking y'all because i hate when people talk about my kids like i don't talk about kids i don't sexualize kids 
I let people, I'm the type, ask anybody, I'm the type to let people do what they want to do. Do what you want to do. I don't care. I care about what Xavier have going on and Xavier kids. That's it. Period. Like, stop talking about my kids. Thank you. I appreciate that. Y'all too grown to be worried about a two ears peers. I love y'all. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. Raise your right hand. Put it over your left shoulder and smack the taste out of anybody. Say any more rumors about anybody. <laughs>